Do we tables, ladders, and chair? Where we uh, we'll see what the uh, ga what the um, game has on the match card, and well, also um, we simulate tour and uh, and see what one SmackDown got to offer. But um, also, uh, I didn't change any of the card. Some matches make sense, and it's cool to have them on the card. But there's a but there also so I saw some things about the. Uh, Universe stupidity shenanigans. Much checked out the view of today, but yeah. Um, here we are, anyways, to table sets and chairs where we get to all the results. We have simulation, except for one uh, case where I picked the winner, um, a tradition that has or perhaps even more than one where I picked winner, WWE. but the rest is um, now, uh, forever, together. simulated. St. Petersburg, isn't that Russia? I think it's a couple of, I think it's in Russia, but alright. <laughs> Wouldn't uh, want to trouble there right now. <laughs> Let's see who wins the opener between the mighty Bobby Lashley with the Hurt Business by his side, apparently, against Way Mysterio. Master 619, legendary Way. Come on, Way. Nah, Way lost. That sucks. Yeah, here will um, Let Liv retain a woman's title. Um. Then we have um, because Lyft is often, and it's I didn't expect her to become Miss Money in the Bank and uh, defeated one on the title in real life, and uh, hold it for a long time actually because Liv is very talented and deserves it, and that's usually where the WWE mess things up. People are talented, they get wasted, and also huge fan of Liv Morgan since the Wild Squads, and all, and I saw her talent since day one as well, so. She deserves it as much as she deserves the one with the gold right now in real life as well. Um, then we have Kalisto getting a much deserved Intercontinental Championship against King Corbin. And King Corbin, much like Elias and Maskman, impressed at Survivor Series. This their Swip It's Red match where Maskman walked away with the win over King Corbin and Elias. And their Swip It's Red champion was champion was champion match. Um, let's see if Kalisto can, with the Lucha House Party, walk away with a win here. And he does. We have a new Intercontinental Champion and his name is Kalisto Lucha Lucha. And next up we have the Usos versus the, with the, versus the Raiders with the Smackdown Tag Straps on the line. I'm surprised that the Tag Ties are on the line. And of course the Wound Tag Tie can't be on the line because Nikki SH is injured while Rhea Ripley we see her currently at NXT so maybe that's why she didn't get uh, booked because Rhea Ripley wants to uh, focus on her issues with uh, the Demon Family, alongside Raquel and Dakota Kai, of course, that is, well, and don't forget, Nikki SH got in here by Demon Family, and, yeah, um, anyways, oh, it's even a TLC match, I didn't saw it the first time, but good, 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 would like to see more of them, but, yeah, that's classic WWE <laughs> these days, bullshit, so let's see who wins this match anyway. Could have been a great match, and the Raiders win. That's surprisingly. I mean, they're having boys, but if they destroy, it, they seem to destroy the Usos in this matchup, and then climb the ladders and to uh, um, get the straps, and that makes sense. So, also we have uh, larger men like Kane won money in the bank and pairs and stuff, and um, and Otis and stuff. You know, so makes sense actually. Makes sense. Makes sense. And also, heavy men can win the matchup. Um, you know, they need to just sure they're not as fast as the Usos, for example, or like when Mysterio or Ricochet or something, you know, or Jeff Hardy. Uh, but um, if they destroy their position or their position gets destroyed, sure, can win it. Anyways, next to the US, to the uh, counterpart um, here from uh, this match, let's see if uh, Priest can get the gold back from Elias. Let's see. And he didn't. Elias returned. Drifting away to another win, impressive wins. I mean, two great talents. And now we have, um, and I like both, and I like both of them actually. So, would would a match I would watch if it's booked correctly. Um, and also, lies deserve some gold in my opinion. Let's see who wins between Jeff Hardy and Chad and Benjamin from the Hurt Business. But or is he kicked out of the Hurt Business? I don't understand because he's without his people. Uh, so, but let's see if he can defeat Jeff Hardy on pay-per-view, and he can. Well, that's good for him. Even though I am huge, uh, I'm uh, I like Jeff Hardy, and yeah, it sucks to see him lose. Anyways, just personal opinion. Let's carry on. But Shaden is a great talent. 
I check all of you. Um, all these legends and Chetons also living legends, you know. I check Jeff, so. Um, even though I would always pick Jeff higher as Shelton in the ranking, but also very good in the way. And now let's see um, what's with Cesaro and Ciro. I mean, Ciro has potential, and Cesaro already always very good in the wing, even though I don't like that much of his style. But he's talented, he was impressive. And let's see if he can become the Universal Champion. Uh, he can't. Ciro retained. Okay. Um, sucks for Cesaro, but the Swiss Superman. Maybe can bounce back from that, who knows. Uh, let's see. We have Robert Wood and Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Orton and Riddle versus RK Bro. And can RK Bro focus though on this matchup because Riddle has recently issues uh, with Legend Killer and also Randy Orton get involved, helping out his teammate Riddle and even let some strikes on Legend Killer. So let's see if they can focus against the uh, uh, Dirty Dogs and they could. They walk away with another big win. Then now next up we have Ricochet versus John Cena for some reasons. But let's see. If Ricochet can get a big win of a big match John here tonight, and he can't. It's big match John, Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. I wouldn't care I would uh, Ricochet and John Cena have book correct and Ricochet winning, I would like to see that, but um yeah, but they shouldn't turn Ricochet or Cena because both are good guys and should be good guys. Um, even though I prepared the Ricochet and Lucha Underground with Prince Puma and also appreciating Lucha, Lucha Underground like I said before I think was the greatest wrestling show uh, for the last couple of uh, wrestling promotion um, for the last couple of we years in my opinion and um, the second one is TNA yeah and I don't count the rest because I uh, haven't watched or um, or it's garbage in my opinion, like WWE of today mostly, and uh, AW is also behind its potential in my opinion, as much like WWE is. Anyways, that's a match I don't care personally. Says Rollins and Kevin Owens, they're good. They're not. They're. You can't say anything about their ring work, but uh, yeah, says Rollins over pushed in my opinion, and KO. I never cared about KO, so it's just how it is. So, and yeah. But let's see who walk away with the win. That's Wallens, okay. Um, oh, we have Alexa Bliss in a spooky version. Challenging Bianca Belair, I think, for her Women's Championship, I believe. But let's see if... And that, this match, if booked correctly also, would have been great. But honestly, um, I hope they wouldn't uh, misbook that. Uh, much like the other match that I said if booked correctly, because... They both are very good in the ring, even though Bianca Belair, I, I don't, I don't usually I'm not, I'm not liking uh, uh, powerhouses, but in her case, I'm a huge fan and I like, I'm a huge Lexi fan as well. So, um, and they both are very capable in the swing, very talented, and they should um, get treated that way. And it's good feud and good matches and stuff, in my opinion. So Bianca retains. Uh, would, wouldn't mind to see Alexa getting some gold again. I mean, it's been time after all the years of, you know, not getting title. Anyways, let's see who became WWE Champion. And the sad thing is that I need to, yeah, put the strats on either AJ or Finn. And Finn was a former champion, you know, so... Yeah, I think I put the title on Finn. Uh, yeah, because I need to get Brock Lesnar because of this, um, what's there going on in real life with the lawsuit and so I want to get Brock Lesnar out of the universe, same about Vince McMahon and um, Shay I don't know if Shane McMahon is involved, but I, for safety I put him out as well, and same goes for uh, Drew Gulak as well, um, yeah let's get Finn the title back also, I like Finn Balor. AJ is phenomenal in the wing. Finn is also great in the wing, and Brock Lesnar. Don't like his style. He is, no, he is good in the wing, but he's over pushed in my opinion. Um, and yeah, but uh, not in the last times where you see him where he put people over. Um, that was that was that was like Cody Rhodes. Uh, that was good thing. Uh, or Drew McIntyre as well. Um, but. Also speaking about overhyped and overpushed people, we have that off the table Roman Reigns, who I also don't like, 
Max like Roman. Yeah. Um, also, I, m I might would have like I would might uh, would like Wentz if he wouldn't been over pushed since the beginning at um, the main shows. I don't know how it was in NXT, but main shows over pushed since the beginning as a shield and stuff. I don't like that, but I like to a bit so a lot. So yeah, let's see if Drew can beat the Tribal Chief here. He can't. Damn it. And for unknown reasons, we have a TLC May. Oh, this was a sweet table set of some chess match. I didn't know this. How did I? Uh... Yeah, okay. Then we had at least two TLC matches, and we have one in the main event for unknown reasons. It's Pete Dunn versus Mansoor. I don't get that booking from the universe, but it's not our booking right now. But maybe this change in the future because. Um, after the Royal Rumble, I'm thinking about also giving you. Um, I won't book Raw SmackDown, but I since um, we are not the general manager there or um, not in control of these shows, but until uh, um, uh, until uh, created Charles get called up to the main roster, but till then we um, let the universe um, control. I uh, want SmackDown for most parts, and um, I will get to the match cards. And I'm not quite yet how much I will show that. Maybe the full shows, maybe not. But um, yeah, that's um, because I think that would be uh, greater. Also, if there some uh, people um, jumping on other shows, um, would be even better. You know, exactly for Survivor Series. And also at some point, I need to um, perhaps get other shows involved because people get called up and stuff like in real life um you know who pulls them nxt or nx uk they get called up perhaps the main roster to one smackdown you know uh the so-called main roster one smackdown should i say um because late as far as i can tell the last couple of years nxt was superior to both one smackdown which is yeah sad story anyways let's see who wins this main event between pete dunn and mansoor I never seen I haven't seen that much of Mansoor or care about him so I would like to see Pitan win. <laughs> and he wins. Great. Good for him. Um yeah. And that's for our show and well we get quickly to the we oh we don't. Um oh we can. Good. Oh, good. Because I want to have one final look here at the card for you guys if it was too fast or anything. We have Bobby Lashley the theme where Mysterio which I don't like, but well, the Almighty walked away with the win. We don't know if he had help from MVP and uh, Cedric Alexander, but I would assume that they helped him out against a very capable way Mysterio. Then we have Liv Morgan retaining over Wanda Rousey, and I bet this was a cool, this was a cool contest, I believe. And then we have Kalist versus, uh, yeah, um, no, and the underdog winning. Always like to see it, especially once one um, who I uh, seen as talented and uh, like. I have nothing against Wanda though, um, and uh, I also think that it's uh, cool how great she was in this um, in the ring, um, despite having not that much training like other people. Um, impressed the hell out of me, to be honest. Um, then we have Kalisto becoming Intercontinental Champion, I believe, over very gain, very capable King Corbin. Then we have, um, but I hate that he's not the lone wolf anymore because that gimmick that was perfect for Corbin, but and it was a very cool one and stuff and remind me of one of my favorite characters from The Walking Dead from Daryl, and yeah, but they scratched of course because it would it was first game perfect fitting and yeah, Corbin also got wound with his failed money in the bank cash and was was nonsense and but it all started. The down wire, the uh, down, uh, but it also also was uh, bad before, terrible before with Jinder Mahal as the WWE champion, which was one of the stupid, if not the stupid, uh, the uh, most uh, terrible decision that they made. <laughs> to be honest. Anyways, Kalisto defeated King Kong and became IC champion on SmackDown. Then we have SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Uh, oh, shit, uh, call the shows. Here we have, of course, Liv retaining her SmackDown World Championship over Wanda Rousey after Lashley defeat Way, where I don't know where the people at, to be honest. Um, Kalisto became a new IC champion, be 
defeating King Corbin, I believe, from SmackDown side. Then we have another SmackDown match with the War Raiders. I think we retained their tag titles over the Usos, but not sure. Uh, Elias, however, retained his United States Championship over them in pre That's what I can remember because Elias and King Corbin were the champions going into the, to Survivor Series against Massman in the perhaps best match of the night. And yeah, sadly for Priest, he can't retain the star and maybe blew up his shirt. But that's to, to the uh, Warren Smackdown uh, GMs to decide. Um, Chad and Benjamin defeated Jeff Hardy. Um, yeah, sadly. Um, then we have Cesaro losing to Austin Seal, which also don't like, but it is what it is. Then we have Ake Bro somehow, some way, defending the attack ties over the Dirty Dogs despite having their. Uh, possibility of you know legend killer getting involved and stuff against uh, RK Pro but apparently he didn't get involved and RK Pro walked away with the, uh, defending the tag straps once again Cena defeating Ricochet I don't uh, like to see that so Ricochet would have uh, benefited from the win here but it is what it is she says Rollins defeat Kevin Owens I, like I said I don't care Bianca Belair retained World One Championship against Alexi I, like I said I'm a huge fan of both of these women I like them both a lot and, but I would have liked to see Alexa winning the gold yet again nothing against Bianca but Alexi had the uh, last uh, title one with the uh, War or Smackdown Women Championship was uh, many years ago so it would be great um, yeah and Akibo, still the World Tag Team Champions, if I haven't uh, called, said. Um, Bianca Belair, still World Woman Champion. Even though I would like to see Lexi winning it, but it is what it is. Then we have here the WWE Championship from Ross side, I think. So, uh, Series the Universe Champion from SmackDown, I believe. And WWE Champion on Ross from Bella, I think. Um, oh, I need to uh, get to uh, Lesson Out of the Universe. Um, well, I, but I think I'll do this off camera. So. Yeah. Or maybe not, who knows. Uh, yeah. Reigns defeated Drew and uh, Pete Dunn defeated Mansoor in the main event, TLC main event. I like that we had three TLC matches. I expected worse, but in my opinion, at a pay-per-view like TLC or Extreme Rules, there should be many more matches getting a uh, stipulation. For example, in TL Table Letters and Chess, you don't always have to put, in my opinion, t TLC matches, but you could elevate things with ladder matches, with table matches, with TLC matches, you have variety, you know, and maybe here and then some other matches like, you know, like extreme woods, like low hole spot and stuff, but that's not what I've seen and that's a sad story, but anyways, let's get Brock Lesnar out of here and also, um, here's a roster from, oh, <laughs> here's, here's um, Oh, I hope it doesn't spoil. I know it's the people from our SmackDown, right? Yeah, sadly we have to. Um, and we have to end this rivalry with, with him, Bella, I believe. And also, if you wonder why there are many uh, shows, um, it's because I, um, well, um, I, I had some issues with the game, and that's why we have many NX UK, but I will scratch this as fast as possible. Um, also, have I get rid of the McMahons into a Gulag? I hope so, but I'm not sure. So, I, I think, but I will check this out offline because otherwise I could spoil you about some uh, charts that uh, we haven't seen yet. And I want you to see them on the first arrivals of NXT, NXT UK, or maybe even somehow, some way, on one SmackDown. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, guys? Anyways. Thanks. Uh, anyways, good to add you here. Where we stick to the results of tables, ladders, and chairs. And um, oh, I 